All right, this is Master Geo at New York Comic Con with the very lovely Adrian Curry. Hello, Adrian. How are you? What's up? I'm good and apparently lovely. <laughs> How have you been enjoying NYCC? Um, I've enjoyed it. I'm a little sad I didn't bring any costumes because this is one of the few places that I could step outside and feel cool in them. Like, I love cosplaying in a cold city. It's just cosplaying is hot and uncomfortable and scratchy and it's good to have wind well since you brought up cosplaying what's what was your first cosplay you ever did well probably when I was younger what did I do oh I tried to dress up as the childlike empress from the never-ending story with the little thing and I mean I wore it all the time all the time so I guess that's cosplaying but it was more like make-believe with my friends and we'd be fighting like, I want to be Sebastian. I would, I'm like, no, I'm, I'm childlike. And they're like, you're always her. I'm like, fuck you. Of course I am. I live in the ivory tower. <laughs> but so, now I cosplay Atreyu because I think he's cooler. But when you're a kid, you want a little pearl on your head for some reason. I don't know. And then when you're an adult, you kind of want it on your neck. Oh, oh. let's go on. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so I know you're doing something with Stan Lee. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Well, I'm doing a few things with him, like, he's my boss, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I'm doing my show, Superfans, which first episode just hit. Next episode will be out next week on Stanley's World of Heroes YouTube channel. It's pretty badass. Go watch it. It's not long, so it's good for the uh, short attention span nerds out there. You know the internet. It's like five, six minutes, and I'm out. So the episodes we kept short to keep people interested in uh I will be joining Jenna Bush and Stan Lee for Cocktails with Stan so we can drink and chat and laugh and giggle and uh, I think we're just planning on hanging out in New Orleans when we uh, go down there so that, sh that should be fun. My life is really weird. I work for Stan Lee. How did you end up, how did you end up working with Stan Lee? Uh, and sucked him off behind a dumpster, five dollar. No. <laughs> uh, actually, um, my manager had heard that Stan was starting a new channel, and he was friends with someone who was involved with it. And they said, "Look, do you have any ideas?" And I said, "How funny! I've had a show idea for years, but I didn't want to take it to television because I knew television wouldn't accept it because the market isn't as big as you want it to be. But the market for nerds and the internet." big so that's pretty much how it happened I told them my idea and they immediately loved it and hammered me up a budget and I, I started trying to find super fans how is it working with Stan working with Stan is awesome uh, Stan meets a lot of people the first three or four times we talked he'd always forget me now he always remembers me but if I come up to Stan in a shirt that covers my chest, he has no idea who I am. Uh, <laughs> but as soon as it's out, he's like, Adrian! <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I know those boots. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear it. No, 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 no. It, we've just finally worked enough. But, I mean, this man, I've seen it happen. He meets four million people a day. I, I would lose my mind. And he's very graceful and and kind to all his fans too and I really respect that because I would I don't think I'd be able to work for a dick you're also doing a beyond comics thing could you tell me about that yeah uh, working with Greg from beyond comics uh, he's basically made me into a comic book heroine and uh, she starts off good turns evil and then comes back to the light side so everyone's kind of questioning is she really that good? And uh, his first issue of the comic just hit. And most of the other stuff I can't say because I don't want to fuck up the storyline of the right, comic. Right. So you guys have to go and, and pick it up. Right now he's uh, in aisle F in Artist Alley. But if you go to beyondcomics.com, I've signed a whole bunch of the comics and posters. And I am Tricity. And my costume eerily reminds me a lot of Beyond Flux. <laughs> I wonder why. Well, I think when people look at me, they normally think whips, chains, leather, gunpowder. Right? <laughs> well, I know you're a big Star Wars fan, and there were rumors of, a, of Star Wars getting released in 3D. I'm curious, yay or nay on 3D Star Wars? I'll say nay, because I'm tired of them raping my, my baby 
to uh, make money. But here's the problem. I'll go fucking see it. Like I did the first, you know, the new three episodes. And I was like, boo, hiss, this is awful. And then my friend the next day, oh, I want to see it. Oh, I'm going to watch that garbage with you again. And I go and I sat down and I watch. I'm like, fuck Jar Jar, I'm so angry. And I've seen it a million times. So I keep buying it. I'll say fuck that shit. And just like you guys know, you'll go and see it yeah. too. <laughs> I'm guilty of the same exact Maybe shit. Maybe it might be cool. Maybe it might be cool. Maybe. Because, I mean, we've seen it in every which way. Why not have Han Solo's bulge pop out at me on screen, you know? There, there you go. Yeah, and I'm glad they're at least doing in the original trilogy because no one, no one wants to see Jar Jar in 3D. It's like, can you get any worse? Miso says yes, you know? I'm like right in your face. Sorry. <laughs> All right, well, uh, any closing words, Adrian? Watch my show or suck my ass. Dan Lee's World of Heroes, super fans. Make it big, and then I'll have a second season, and then you submit your tapes with your cool fan shit. 